Thank you for that. And plow truck drivers have been working around the clock since two yesterday afternoon to reading the roads to prepare for all of this snow and to keep everyone safe out there. rtv 6s Stephanie Wade rode along in a plow truck and shows us what drivers should and should not do when sharing the road. Stephanie is live now over Interstate 65 and 70 in downtown Indianapolis. Stephanie, what do we have to know? Well, Amanda, right now, taking a look at the interstate here behind me, we're near the I-65, I-70 South Split, and traffic is not that bad right now. Maybe people left work early trying to beat the rush and knowing the road conditions. But I can tell you right now, in dot plow truck drivers. They've been working 12-hour shifts all day long, laying down the salt, treating the roads. They ask as they try to keep everyone safe doing their job, you do the same. This is Miranda Oreck's third winter driving a snowplow truck for the Department of Transportation. She says each year she sees cars put themselves and others on the road at risk, pulling dangerous moves to get where they're going. Speed past you or definitely drive too close. As the second round of salt hits the road for tonight's snow event, INDOT recommends following the clear parts of the interstate to avoid any slickness. Stay where you see that people have gone before. Um, that'll be the safest for you. It'll be the safest for other drivers. Um, we had a couple instances this morning of people trying to pass plow drivers uh, on the shoulders, which did not work out for the vehicle. INDOT says a car actually spun out on I-465 this morning, trying to pass a plow truck on the shoulder and didn't see the snowbank on the other side. We spotted several cars doing the same today, as seen in this video, dangerously attempting to pass plow trucks, even on single lane ramps. As 55 trucks will be out tonight in Marion County working the roads, 170 in total in the East Central District, be on the lookout, ready to slow down and give them plenty of room. Give them space, even more space than you would the car in front of you um, as much as you can. We say 50 feet, but in a snow event, if you can give them 100, anything that you can do. Now, crews will be out working overnight until noon tomorrow, treating the roads. INDOT says they may extend that and keep trucks out later if necessary. We will, of course, keep you updated here on RTV6, both on air, online, with the latest information. Reporting live tonight, Stephanie Wade, RTV6.